Okay, here we go with level 4, Tomb of Qualopec. This is a great level. Much more puzzles involved in this one, as well as aesthetics. Details are beautiful in this level. And the first level that feels like a proper tomb. So, let's go tomb raiding. We go up this hill. There's a trap. Oh no, a boulder. Run away. Mm. Sneaky little trap, that one. Alright. Let's see what's up here. It's an area that's shut off, so we can't go that way. That is where we need to end up at some point though. But I guess we need to figure out how to unlock that door. So, let's get into it. <clears throat> There's a switch over here that I noticed. And that has opened some door somewhere. Oi! Holy shit! It's amazing how much I've forgot about this game. You know, I did not expect those dinosaurs to come running at me. It's been that long since I've played it, completely forget what happens. Anyway, let's continue. We dealt with those easily because we are so skilled at killing dinosaurs. Ooh. A fork in the road. Which way do we go first? Hmm. Let's go right. I have an instinct to go right. Any more dinosaurs? I think not. Checking every corner. Every... Every cranny and nook, however you say it. Now that's something we push. As an, as an experienced Terminator player, you can tell when there's a movable object based on the texture. There was a little bit of glitching going on there. You could see what was on the other side. So let's... How do we... I think we can push this one forward. There we go. And if you're smart and also an experienced Tomb Raider player, you would know that that's a trap right there. That is a collapsing floor, so... Let's run across that. Pull the switch. And that opens one of three doors. Interesting. Now, we've got to be careful on the way back. There that collapsing tile has revealed a spike trap. We want to avoid that. Hell yeah. Lara's too good and too smart. So that's opened one door. And this is the fork in the road where we entered from. We entered from that way. So we're going to go in an anti-clockwise direction. We're going to try the middle hallway. I should probably have my guns drawn because I don't know what to expect coming up. Just, I feel like a dinosaur is going to jump out at me at any moment. Okay, I'm remembering something here. I know that that's a trap. I can't actually pull that switch. I can try. See, it's fake. Yep. Aha! I was expecting the unexpected that time. Couldn't fool me. Alrighty. More puzzles to solve. So that's a block, as you can tell by the texture. I think we can pull it out once. <laughs> Then we can push it to the side. Oh no. 
Well, that was hopeless. Tried to run across that little gap. Didn't work. Let's try this again. Push. Damn, Lara's so strong. Lara is pretty strong if you think about it. The amount of backflips and somersaults that she can do. Not to mention pulling herself up ledges. And I'm about to demonstrate she can do handstands as well, which is pretty just a pretty cool feature. It doesn't benefit the player in any way. But I will demonstrate what it looks like. There you go. Lara doing a handstand. Imagine how much strength that would take to pull off. That is insane. Lara is a weapon. A strong, independent woman. And the cool thing about Lara is she got no boyfriend. Lara don't need no man. Lara never needed a man. Alright, looks like we're back in that area. So we can backtrack. Here's that fork in the road again. That's where we came from. We went there last time and we're going anti-clockwise. So now it's time to go down the left path. I'm fully expecting some dinosaurs to jump out at me. I'm getting a bit paranoid. What has this game done to me? switch and moved some blocks around. I'm guessing that helps us jump across platforms to reach certain areas. Let's jump on down here. And let's go for a stroll through these abandoned tomb Halls. This is a place that probably that's probably ha has not been seen for thousands of years, and then Lara discovers it. All right, so we pulled a switch which moved that block, but we can't reach that. This is the way to go. Jump up here. See, it benefits you to look around to see where you need to go next. God damn. Any more surprises coming up? I'm scared. I'm very scared. I did not make it this far when I was a kid. Never in a million years would I have made it this far. Well, that makes no sense. Hmm. I think there's something this way. Nope. That's the way we came, I think. So we continue on down this way. Let's be safe. Drop down safely. And we can run and make this jump. There we go. So we've made it onto this block. Now, I believe that's the right way to go. Oh, tricky jump that. You have to angle it right. Yeah, a switch. And the block has moved again. Rolled a bit early. I'm playing like a bit of a noob right now. When I normally play Tomb Raider, I'm much more fluid with my movements. Now that block has moved, so I'm guessing we go back up that way.
and now we have to jump over to that platform. Sidestep a little, angle our jump correctly, and damn, we're good. Takes some getting used to lining up for jumps. Ooh, nothing, no threats, good. And that's the final door open. Now, I know what's coming. Now that all of those doors are open, we're gonna have a surprise. And because I'm a Tomb Raider veteran, I know exactly what's coming because I've played this game several times. Just because I don't remember everything, it doesn't mean there's some stuff that I haven't forgotten about. Boy, there we go. Almost got the jump on me, he did. Now I believe there might be another dinosaur. I don't think that's the only one. Maybe it is. Hmm. I believe that is the threat over and done with. So the next area to proceed is down these three doors that we opened. All that, let's save. And carry on. Guns drawn. Got to be ready for everything. I know what's happening here. It's going to be blow darts. There we go. Now, there's a secret here that I remember. I just stand here and this door opens. And I've got a bunch of collapsing tiles to deal with. So, I'm going to make this, try to make this easy. I'm going to clear a path on the opposite side. Grab a couple of shells. Well, that isn't exactly what I had in mind, but I think we can work with this. Let's do a running jump. There we go. Genius. I think that's it. Unless there's an item up here. Is there an, is there an item up here? No, I thought there might have been. Damn, those backflips, Lara. Alright, that's the room. That is the final room of this level. And I think we are about to end the level. See, this is one of the, one of the pieces of the artifact that Lara is looking for. As soon as we grab it, the place starts falling apart. Typical. Ooh. We gotta run. Gotta run. Run, Lara, run. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that could have ended badly. If that fell on top of me, I would have died. Now we have to deal with last music. Last music. There he is. Die. Die. Putting so many bullets in. Man. Lara's. Well, good. you have my total attention now. I'm not quite sure if I've got yours, though. Hello? I'll heal and hide you to a barn door yet. Of course. You and that driveling piece of the ski on. You want to keep it so bad? I'll harness it right up your... Wait. We're talking about the artifact here? Damn straight we are. Right up. Hold on. I I'm sorry. This piece, you say? Where's the rest? Miss Natler put Pierre Dupont on that trail. 
And where is that? Ha! <laughs> you ain't fast enough for him. So you think all this talking is just holding me up? I don't know where his little jackrabbit frog legs are running him to. You'll have to ask Miss Natalie. Thank you. I will. Hmm, great. Some great story development happening there. So, someone else is on the trail to pick up another piece of the artifact that Lara is looking for, which is in Greece. So, that concludes the Peruvian levels. Next level, we're off to Greece to pick up on that trail.